Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a customer job. Uh, this is a nice laptop, it's a Lenovo. Uh, kind of nice, yeah? It is nice? It is. Uh, so the customer is saying like that, Lenovo ThinkPad L13 Gen 2. Uh, it's a computer shop. Uh, had some suntan lotion damage. <laughs> Do you know the uh, uh, the lotion for tan to don't get burned in the sun? Uh, then the laptop then was cleared was clean by the by them. Then it works three weeks before failing to boot. I cannot swap the motherboard as they don't have the BitLocker key. So, uh, yeah, this has to be repaired. Currently, fan switch on, but nothing else. So, what do you think we can fix it? I didn't open the laptop, so I don't know what is inside. Yeah, we do have screws. Let's open the screws and have a look. Oh, wait, the screws are open. Yeah. So, does the motherboard... It's a pretty cool motherboard. Okay, let's plug the USB-C uh, and see what it's doing. So we have the USB-C plugging the USB-C and it's coming on. 5 volts. So it's not negotiating the voltage, or this is not the charging port. It must be the charging port. This is the only one. Okay, that's strange. So why the customer is saying uh, the laptop is coming on? Five volts. You can see on the charger. Oh, wait. Because of my charger? No, same, 5 volts. So it's not negotiating the voltage. Okay, you know what? Let's press the power button and see what is happening. Uh, where is the power button on this one? Here. Pressing the power button and I can't see anything. I cannot see the fan spinning. The voltage is still 5 volts here. It's not taking current. It's not charging. It's not doing anything. So something is very wrong here. We have onboard RAM. Look at the RAM. <laughs> so this is straight. This is like angle. Okay, so what the customer is saying doesn't match with uh, what's going on here. With or without the battery, same story. Now let's check the main power rail. Because our attention is to the PD controller and the main power rail, just to be sure it's not shorted. No, and the main power rail is not shorted. No, it's not. Hmm? So, from where we are starting? So, I believe uh, the way to go is first let's check the board because this came with some liquid damage that's what the, the customer is saying had before liquid damage uh, check that and then check the pd controller i mean i don't want to check the pd controller before i check in the board okay let me take out the board see you soon okay so i took the board out and check here we can see here some damage you can see and you can see on the board around the around the IO chip, the EC chip, we can see some uh, liquid damage. Otherwise, the board is looking okay. So indeed, it looks like it had uh, some liquid damage before. Okay, let's focus on the motherboard here, where is the liquid damage. So what do we have here? Wait a second, I think here is liquid damage, yeah? 
but check here the, the EC chip. I don't think here is liquid damage. I think that's how it's, com it's coming from the factory. Look here, 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 here. I think that's how it's made, it man meant to be, right? I mean, this is okay. It's not... It's not changing the, the laptop behavior, this damage here. So the EC chip is fine. Well, let's check the board more. Here is some damage, you can see liquid damage, but it's just a little bit there. Okay, the charging port looks bad inside. I mean, you can see it's a lot of oxide inside. Probably you can't see. You can see the greenish thingy? Yeah. Let's clean the charging port and then check again. To plug in the charger. And we still have five volts only. So the next step, PD controller. I don't believe this board died because of the liquid damage. No. Uh, the EC chip, yeah. You know what? I will focus first on the EC chip before the the PD controller. So we have few capacitors around the EC chip. We can check if uh, if it's any short here. No, everything looks good. Everything looks fine. Wait, you can't see the meter. Why do I have zero ohms there? Why do I have? 2.2 ohms on this pin, on this capacitor. Huh? Everything else is fine, apart from this capacitor. Let me see which is ground. Okay, here 1.2 and here 0 0.7. Okay, so here it's a power rail. Okay, it's a power rail which is shorted. Let's come with the power supply like usual. Let's lower the voltage. It's zero ohm short anyway, so. The voltage is not that important. So here is taking 1.3 amps, that's ground, and here is taking 1.5 amps. Okay, here 1.3 amps. And the AC chip is not getting hot. Yeah, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Let me grab the thermal camera. But I still believe this has nothing to do with the liquid damage. Let's see what do we have shorted here.
Okay, it's taking 1.3 amps. One point three amps. Uh, I can't see anything. The CPU? Huh? Let's take out the heat sink. Good. Good. Let's have a look at the coils, yeah? With the multimeter. Here, 90 ohms, that's fine. Here, nothing, that's fine. 45 ohms, good. 45. Here, 123, that's fine. Here is fine. Here is fine. Okay, then it's strange, then it's weird. This is a weird case. I mean, clearly that it's a power rail, has a capacitor on it. Capacitor connected to ground. And the second thing, it's no point having a capacitor if that power rail has zero ohms. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's a power rail which is shorted. And I'm not sure how can I check. One point two amps. Why I have some sick some heat on the back of the CPU? I mean, what is that? Okay, let me try a risky thing. I mean, it's not that risky. We have like 0 0.8 volts. That's the chipset? I can't believe. That's the chipset. Probably this is the RTC line. And it's shorter to ground. Let me find a schematic. Okay, so I got the schematic. So let's see what we are checking. Let's see. So going back to the EC chip. Let's see where that pin is going. Let's see, so this one is going. So we ground, I have one ohm. Pin number four from the EC, yeah? So this is going to pin number four. Yeah, you can see the mark here from the EC chip. So let's check with the schematic what that is doing. Okay, Novoton. So that's our EC chip. And pin number four, one, <laughs> one D8V sus. Okay. Uh, this is like a must have uh, power rail. And yeah, this is for, uh, is for the chipset. 
So indeed, the chipset is shorted. Yeah. So it's going to the EC and also it's going to the EC chip. Yeah. Sadly, it's nothing to do. I'm happy I didn't spend more time. Because I don't know where is this power supply. I checked every coil. So uh, the coils are fine. But the thing is, I have a power rail. Yeah. And I come with like 0 0.8 volts and the, CP and the chipset is getting hot. That's the minimal voltage on the board. Like you will not find a power rail under 0 0.8 volts. What we have here. Okay. On the other way, we have a capacitor there. So there is, that's a power rail, 1.8 volts power rail for the chipset. Okay. So I will stop here. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always. And uh, see you on the next one. Yeah. Maybe actually we can fix something on the next one. <laughs> Bye.